Hi guys, Dave's Vintage Apple Tech, and I just want to kind of show you something that I found a while back when we were doing the estate sale for somebody. It's kind of an interesting thing. Uh, like I said, uh, it's a PC. That's not my forte. Again, this is more Apple related uh, channel. But anyway, uh, this is something that I found and uh, it does work. And we'll be back in a moment. Okay, so anyway, this is a compact 610 notebook. And uh, I believe these were made around uh, 2009. And this is an HP Compact 610. And so anyway, uh, it works. Uh, the battery doesn't work on it, obviously. Uh, but you plug the adapter and it works. Um, and so anyway, it's a... <clears throat> the only thing that I see wrong with this uh, machine, other than this button here is kind of wonky, but it does work. Uh, it should be firm like this. I think probably the spring's broken up, but it does work. Um, that's really the only thing I see wrong with it. This has got a conventional hard drive in it. Uh, this is the this is a lower spec model. I mean, they made uh, quite a few different ones of these things, but uh, I guess these things originally shipped out. This machine just has a a, a core two dual processor. I believe it's. Uh, two gigabytes, if I'm not mistaken. And it has a mechanical hard drive in it. And this is the 15.6 inch uh, display. And this has USB. Uh, it has uh, quite a few features uh, back in the day. And I'll just kind of show you real quick here. And so this is, you know, typical of your your machines. This has the uh, port for your phone line, VGA, Ethernet. It has three USB uh, ports on it, uh, two. There's a uh, card, uh, PC card slot there. And then, of course, you have your, on all, most machines, you have your microphone and headphone jack. And then on the other side, uh, you have your Kensington lock there. And uh, you have this nice, uh, it's actually pretty nice, it's a DVD, it's a combo drive, but it is a light scribe drive, which is pretty cool. And, um, and on the underneath side of it here, um, you have your access point for your hard drive, your RAM, and your cards and all that, and here's the, the battery right here. But anyway, like I said, uh, just rummaging through the, the junk, uh, we found this, uh, and uh, it works. Uh, now when I got it, um, it had a password protection on it. Like I said, I'm not by no means a no, no expert on PCs. And so I just wound up wiping the drive and putting Windows 7 on it. Um, this thing originally had uh, XP on it. And uh, so we uh, took care of that and I put Windows 7 on it. But uh, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll plug it in here. So we'll just hit the power button. And it's, uh, you hear the fans blazing away on it here when it first starts up here. And there's your internet. And it's, again, it's, it's in Windows. And uh, it'll, it'll quiet down here. But, uh, you know, I, I've played with it. I can get on the internet uh, with it. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, it's, like I said, I'm not a PC guy. This thing is still kind of dirty. I just kind of brush it off of the broom here. But... You know, hey, it's uh, like I said, you know, I'm always happy when I find all kinds of vintage Macs and stuff like that. But uh, anyway, uh, I found this and, uh, you know, it's uh, again, it's one of those things you, you find not looking for it. Just rummaging through the boxes. And like I said, it was a rat infested building. And so anyway, yeah, it's uh, it works. And uh, I would put a different screen on it, but like I said, I'll, I'll probably wind up giving this away to somebody. Um, but yeah, and like I said, it works fine. Uh, like I said, just a little, just the uh, little button here on the uh, the on the trackpad here, that switch there, it works. But like I said, it's it's not firm like that one. Like I said, I think it's probably a spring or something that probably gave up on that. But all the keys work on it, 
And uh, like I said, this, uh, this machine, you know, when it came out, uh, apparently this was a very affordable model. I think they started around, uh, around 900 bucks in that area. And you could get them in some different configurations. But, you know, f for what it is, it it's okay. Uh, I do use them at work, but my forte is Apple Macintosh. But I do like to share things with you guys that I find. And like I said, uh, this is an old machine, but hey, it's still it's still usable by a long ways. And uh, yeah, so, uh, but when we go to uh, turn it off, we could just probably just hit the power button here and do a hard shut off on it here. There we go, did that. And, uh, but the battery does not charge, the battery's dead on it. So anyway, I turned this on so you could see some of the specs on it there. And like I said, this is kind of a base model machine, but uh, you can see it's got the uh, Intel Core dual processor and that's the model number on it. It's a two gigahertz machine and it's got three gigs of RAM in it. And it's a 32 bit uh, operating system. It's not 64 bit. And uh, it's, just, it's just a basic machine. Um, it's, uh, gives you the product ID number, copyright 2019. Like I said, this has got Windows 7, the home premium version on it. Um, and uh, it, like I said, it's nothing to write home about. Uh, it's just a basic machine. But anyway, um, yeah, it's it's kind of a, you know, like I said, for a freebie, hey, it's pretty good. But like I said, I am not a Windows user, so I will probably just kind of put this away and put it in storage until I find maybe somebody that wants it or, or maybe I'll put it on eBay and sell it. Um, I'm not sure what I'll do with it uh, or maybe I'll put it in a giveaway. Already I have the, you know, guys, you know, I have that 500 subscriber giveaway going on. I have that brand new Yeti USB microphone. I have that twin head notebook again that I found at the same place here that is fantastic. It's a vintage machine and everything comes with it plus a case, charger, the battery doesn't work on it. Uh, even got a floppy disk with it. Uh, and that's, if you like a vintage collectible, that is an awesome thing to pick up. Again, I'm including that because I'm not, a, you know, I'm, I don't collect PCs, I, I collect Macs. So somebody that wins it, I'm sure they'll be very happy with it. It's got Windows 3.1 on it, I believe. So yeah, so uh, go to video 27 and comment on it and subscribe to my channel and you could win that. And uh, maybe I might even sweeten a deal. I might even throw this in, who knows? Uh, leave me feedback. If you want me to throw this in on the subscriber giveaway as well, that would be great. That means you would win the mic, that twin head laptop, and this one. And again, this is the HP Compact 610, and it works. Like I said, the only thing that doesn't work is, or oh, I should say, the only thing, the issue that I see other than it's got a lot of wear to it, the button on the left side on the trackpad, it's not real firm, it's kind of wobbly, it's rattly, and I think it's just because there's a little spring or something probably broke in there, because usually those things are plastic in there, so. But anyway, guys, so, um, yeah, this nice little little uh, laptop here. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and very carefully, let me uh, zoom back out here. So anyway, uh, this is kind of a vlog slash video. Uh, please give me a like, I really appreciate it. Please hit the subscribe button, click the bell, and remember we're on Twitter, and also we're on MeWe, so if you're on any of those platforms, please contact me. I appreciate it. And uh, so, yeah. So anyway, guys, you have a wonderful day. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.